Hi everyone, welcome back to Plum Mashable. So I mentioned at the end of last year that I was gonna try different decorating styles in my Whistle and Birch. This is the first one, we're going vertical, so let's jump in. So I mentioned in the Whistle and Birch video that I did last year that I was going to try and decorate in here a little bit more often. So this is the first one. So what I'm gonna do is every month I'm gonna do a decoration in here. It's obviously purely for fun because I still use my actual planner, which this is just a, an added one. But I really did enjoy um, when I was at Picture to Page, I tried planning in a vertical planner and I really enjoyed it. It was just something different. So I thought I'd give it a shot for 12 months and planning and different kind of things. And then maybe I'll be able to make a better, like an easier decision next year if I do want to change my mind. So like I said, this is the Whistle and Birch. It is a, um, multiple designed planner. This isn't the way their planners normally come. It was just a sample one for me. Uh, so there are lots and lots and lots of different styles in here. The first one is a vertical spread. So it's got four boxes across the seven days. All, the, all of the sizes are the same, which I'm really happy about. So to start off with, I'm gonna start a little bit easier on myself and I'm gonna go with a kit. This is a gorgeous one from Label With Love who sadly don't make stickers anymore. So I thought, I've had this in my collection for so long, I'd use it to kind of do, to, to do the last, last one with Labelled With Love. Um, I do still have a lot in my collection with from Labelled With Love, so I'm sure I'll use some more at some point. But I thought this would be a good way to start it off. And then next month, which also has this vertical spread, um, I thought I'd have a go doing something a little bit different. So maybe with Planners Anonymous, or maybe with inks, or maybe with stamps, we'll think of something together. So, first thing I like to do with a kit, especially one that I haven't, had a really good look at for a while uh, is kind of grab it out and see what I've got sticker wise so there's gonna be lots and lots and lots of uh, right okay cool cool so the whistle and birch is a little bit different to like a happy planner spread or anything like that it doesn't have the the washi bits or anything so there are washi tape kind of things in here which are going to be not too big but Okay, so what I'm gonna do, and I'm this is I'm just running it with running with it my way, and I'm just gonna cut off any excess that is there, and I'm sure there will be some, and I'm not sure if I'm doing this right, but I'm just gonna go with this one at the top. There we go, and then like I said, just gonna cut off the excess. And this is where perhaps I don't like the the bound books quite as much, is because I can't take the page out, so I have to do this have to do this really in this awkward kind of way but it will still get the job done. I know I'm off the um, screen a little bit right now but I will not be far away. Could cut this with a craft knife as well which could be just as easy so keep that in mind too. I'm just cutting along the sticker line there. Trying not to get the page, which I don't think I'm doing a very good job of, but anyway. There we go. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with the smaller one on the other side. And I'm just leaving it just a little bit above the box bits, just to try and um, keep the line straight. And so I'll do the same thing on this side as well. So just cut that excess off. Now, I'm gonna, I'm, I, I, I can't resist it. Um, this is my my stamp set that I made with Dawn that we did in the um, we did in the advent calendar, but it is now available in Dawn's store as well. So I will link it down below as I do with everything. So if you want to go and check it out, you can. Um, but I'm just going to use it to put the dates back in. I'm also going to use it to chuck my acrylic block around. Uh, but I think I'll do. I think I'll stamp the days back in in some color, so that'll leave the day will be on the top of all of these, and then I can come back and put some um, boxes like in the boxes. So I think I've got a couple of ink colors there. I think I need a lighter green. I think that lucky clover's too dark. I haven't got twisted citron yet because I think that one would be the right color. But anyway, so I'm just going to stamp these in. So we'll just do each day will have a different color. So we'll start off with Monday with the blue. 
Now if you saw the video that I did when I launched this, you'll know that I got into trouble here in the corner. So I'm just working out where I want to put this. So I'm just going to put them off to the left a little bit. And a little bit of a suggestion is put it on your block, actually, put it on your page. Work out where you want it. And I've got the number as well here because it's a, like a single digit, so that makes it really easy to do here. So Monday's the 6th. I'm going to have mine just a little bit apart. So work out where you want it. Not always going to be easy because the stamp's going to want to stick to your finger. And then pick it up. Grab a piece of scrap paper if you've got one hanging around, which thankfully I do. Stamp it out first. Check that that's where you want it. And I'm also just going to check something because I, when I was putting these away, I had a feeling I'd switched the six and the nine. So I just want to check what the other one looks like because I think that one's actually the six and that one that I just used there was the nine. Yeah, no, that's... So I'm just going to move that up and in just a tinsy bit. Obviously you don't have to stamp them together. You can do it separately if you want. It's just I'm trying to show you that you can. Just because I'm being a perfectionist and I'm a crazy person. I'm just going to have it and I'll stamp it separately. I'm just going to grab another acrylic block for the number and that just means I can pull these off the same ones. So I'm just going to grab that and put that there. Still not straight, but it'll do. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to flick between colours. So I'm going to go blue, green, purple, blue, green, purple, blue. And I'll be right back. Before I, I stamp this one in, I just want to show you sometimes why it's actually easier to use a square block. The round one is really good, but it's just having making it a little bit difficult for me to get into that corner there. So I'm just going to put it onto a square one. Damn it. It's all right. I'll cover it with a sticker afterwards. Again, why you shouldn't put ink on a stamp when you're using it. Things I'm learning. It's all right. I'll cover that up afterwards. I don't know how, but I'll work it out. So I'll put it on the block right on the edge, I'm just making sure that it's straight. And that way I can get right in here. So making sure that's flat. There we go. Right. So I'll cover that up afterwards. It actually won't be that difficult. I think I've got an idea for how to do that. So I'm going to continue doing that, but I just wanted to show you when you're getting in these corners near the coils, it's actually easy to use a square block instead of a round block. I know that probably is a little over the top, but God, it looks good. Oh, I love that. All right, so we'll open this back up again so I've got the whole flat lay. Put the lids back on all my inks. All right, so I want to have, I think I want to do like all pictures down the middle and then I can put like a couple of to-dos. I'm not going to do full no white because I can't I like I've now that I've covered these up I kind of can't anyway but I'm gonna do my best so it's definitely something I'm not completely comfortable with but I'm gonna give it a shot 
And all I'm going to do is keep trying to avoid putting any colours on the line that they're already on. So this one, for example, the green wouldn't go on the green. I'd put it somewhere else. So I'm going to put this one here. Now this kit is, I think it's an EC size kit. So it fits in the uh, Whistle and Birch planner absolutely perfectly. And I'm being a little pedantic here, but that's all right. Because I want to get it as close as I can to in the box. So I'm going to go ahead and stick these all down. Like I said, just trying to avoid sort of repeats of the of the same colour in the same box and then also trying to keep them not uh, like visually appealing as I'm putting them in as well. So I'm just going to go along this bit here. I love this kit. I don't know why it's taken me so long to use it. I do because it was too pretty so I didn't want to use it. Uh -oh. One of my favourite things about Label With Love stickers is that they do come up reasonably easily. So if you do put them down and need to pull it back up, it, it does give you a little bit of leeway to be able to do that. Don't need to pull out the undo straight away. And if you're like me and you love succulents, this is just a great kit. Beautiful colours. So I have all those in and then I'm going to use these boxes to put in, I'm actually going to cover all of these up, the to-dos at the bottom and then I can add in some extra little sort of titles and things on the other ones and again I'm just going to avoid putting the colour where it already is. So this one wouldn't get green, this one's going to get green here. This is fun, no white space. Even though I know I'm still going to have plenty of white space. I'm really happy so far. All right, so I've obviously skipped using the date dots, but I am going to add in some deco ones in a minute, and that's because I'm going to put in. Um, um, I'm going to put in some decorative ones to cover up my little ink messes. Something I'm thinking about doing this year, which I haven't quite decided yet if we're going to, is a little bit more close attention to our eating habits, and that's just because we do tend to eat not not a lot of good stuff um so i'm gonna try i'm gonna have it sitting down here and again this this is for show i'm aware of that but it's it's something that i might have a go at um doing in my planner as well it's just keeping track of what we're eating for dinner so whether or not it's actually what we're eating or meal planning i haven't quite decided yet but so i'm going to put in I was kind of trying to avoid this teal colour just because I hadn't had it anywhere else but I think maybe just a couple of little pops of it will be okay. So I've just got that little one there that's just got meal plan on it. And I like that that's off to the side, it kind of gives just a bit of a juxtaposition to everything else. Um, okay so then, 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 we need to add in, I'm going to have some This is what I do with all of my sort of to-do boxes at the moment. And if I was going to use this, and that's where I'm going with this, this is going to be how I would use it. So I wouldn't use all the daily to-dos and stuff because I don't have daily to-dos as much. So I'd break this up into like a happy mail at the end of the week and maybe a next week kind of on Saturday. So things that, and that just happens to be the same colors, which is nice. Um, so that's just sort of the, the back end of the week worked out. And then the rest of it could be your actual sort of to-do list. So I'm gonna would I'm gonna stick with the colours that I've got here. So we're gonna do the to-do on the Monday, which would then kind of be like the stuff to do at the beginning of the week. Oops. And 
and then I'm going to put the same to do one onto Thursday so this would be the to do at the back end of the week and then because I've already stuck with the colors I'm just going to grab I'm going to do this blue one is to buy because I always have things that I want to buy whether or not I actually buy them so you can just have like a, a shopping list even though you don't necessarily buy everything have a social media one Wednesdays isn't my day off I don't think next year yet but we might that might happen so having it on Wednesday is not ridiculous and the day during the week that I have off is usually the day that I kind of catch up on catch up on things and I'm just gonna have another to do on Friday just to even them out Alright, so then I'm going to use some decorative stickers and bits and pieces here. I'm not deliberately using all labelled with love, but it just is going to work, so I'm going to stick with that. So I'm going to put this one on Tuesday, because we're back at the gym as of this week. Then I'm going to have, now yeah, I've got, huh, I've got Friday off, so I'm going to have, what colours have I got? I'm going to use the purple and I'm just going to have this sitting underneath Friday. I'll grab my pens out in a minute and do all of those kind of things. And I'm just going to have me time flicked across Saturday and Sunday because I'm actually going away for the weekend. And then I'm just going to use some of these decorative ones to kind of call it, not clean, like just tidy up and just add a little bit more interest so I'm just gonna have I'm gonna grab this little blue one so all right if I was gonna use this this is what I'm thinking so this would be my kind of notes for the day as at the top so things that I'm doing important dates birthdays things like that would go at the top I've then got the decorative stuff at the bottom the lists all at the bottom and then this bit would be notes that I have to add during the day so that kind of keeps me up to date with everything that's going on so Monday needs to have this little flaggy thing in it which I know is blue so we can't use that one I'm going to have to grab this other green one just grab this other green one because that's back to work day so we'll put that up there and then we can grab in some of these little cutie so this is how I'm gonna cover up my messes because I do have a couple of little messes I'm just using some of the leaves in strategic places to cover them up and then we can bring in some of these other ones to kind of just add a bit of pizzazz I'm just grabbing these off one by one Just adding them in where they look nice. And if they don't look nice, put them back on and I'll use them somewhere else. Okay, so the last thing we have to do is just put all of the information back in. So I'm actually going to use a dark blue pen. I just feel like black's going to be too much. So this is uh, one of my Staedtler Triplus pens. These are my favourite. So I'm just going to write in some of the details that need to happen. So uh, it's in, called Indigo, by the way. Go, and then we flip that over. There we go. I really love that. Who would have thought I could plan vertically? It's not that difficult. It's just, it feels the wrong way to me, but I really do like it. I think it looks really nice. I just want to add in, I'm going to put, bring that blue one back in. And just put that over there just because I feel like it needs something on that side. And like I said, if I was going to use this, this would be my kind of day at a glance. So things that are happening that are really important. And then obviously you've got your deco in the middle 
Um, you'd have your things that happen during the day. So if I needed to write a note for myself to remember to buy milk or whatever that is, I could put that in there. And then I've obviously got my daily, which don't have to be daily. They are, as in they fit daily, but they don't have to be. So this would be my early week to-do list and this would be my late week to-do list. Things that need to move to next week. This one could be a this week and then this one could be a next week. Things like that. So like I said, I'm going to do this once a month. So Whistle and Birch planning and depending on which um, kind of uh, spread it is. So like when we get to June, it's going to be using the, the time planner, which is something really different. This is obviously not so much of a stretch, but when we get to those ones, it's really going to push how I do things. And I'll try and do them different ways. So one month I'll do it this way, which is like with a kit, which is really easy. Um, but then next month I might try doing ink blending or putting uh, Planners Anonymous kit in there or something like that, just to show you all the different ways that you can use the different spreads in different kinds of planners. So I hope you did enjoy this one. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to be subscribed to my channel and follow me on all of my socials. I'd love to hear what you plan in and if you'd like to see me try a spread similar to what you plan in just to help you out, leave that down below or any of my socials as well. Hope you guys have the best, best, best week and I will see you again in my next video. Sending lots of huggles. Bye.